<laughs> the zero DT forty three fifteens were only seventy cents. Oh, and they're gone. But I only had five of those. I did a market stop on my my forty three hundreds, but I think I sold them all by the time it was at one forty, which is pretty good for a thirty five cent contract. Netflix beat, ding ding. By the way, did did Netflix even release any information, or is it just pumping because? Netflix is like 1.3% of QQQ. It's not that big of a deal. Tesla's Tesla's like three and a half or four four point four 4.4%, I think. Have you seen this market? It's being helped by prayers and the crushing weight of yields. Netflix is just as good as any other tech stock to pump now. I mean, it's not. It doesn't have the market cap weight necessary, right? It, is, it, it wouldn't matter how hard they beat earnings the, their, their market cap would have to quadruple in order for it to have any serious impact <laughs> netflix to 2100 <laughs> don't say that i can't live in that world lily also tesla's in the bed maybe elon can save he stuffed ai into a sex robot and save the company why is tesla dropping in after hours i don't know probably because they suck no I, I really don't know what their earnings are i could look Adjusted EPS, 66 cents versus expected 74. Revenues, 23.4 versus expected 24.06. Forward year product production is expected at 1.8 million versus the prior 1.82. So they missed. Free cash flow, 848 million versus the prior 2.59 billion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. I hate that I hedged. Whatever. It's fine. Netflix only beat because they didn't pay any new content this year. Beats a beat, right? At least in this market. Did Netflix actually release numbers? Oh, uh, I'll check them too. Hold on. Uh, 373 versus 349 a share. Revenue flat, 8.54 versus the expected 8.54. Uh, total memberships. Oh, ex they haven't announced the memberships, I don't think, yet. Uh, t but expected is... 243.88 million operating income 1.9 billion versus 1.5 last year so 25 percent year over year revenue growth in quarter three reflected a nine percent year over year increase in average paid memberships so 8.8 .8 million paid net additions versus 2.4 million in quarter three 2022 Ooh, that could be bullish for fubo yeah, so the ad-supported membership increased by like 70%. How's Fubo doing in After Hours? Tesla trades sideways. I'm okay with that. I have data on my puts. I mean, it'll suck to it'll suck to get burned on the crush on the calls, but what are you going to do? All right, let's take a look at things that matter. All right, so ES bounced, uh, retesting 4350 in After Hours. That's probably more responsible for Tesla's move up than their actual earnings. Let's see. So this puts us this puts us pretty steeply in the in the bearish range here. There's not a lot of downside support here, uh, his, historically. So if we go out to like the one hour, uh, this this really starts to collapse through this range. There's some support at 4300, but previously very little support between 4350 and 4300, and then 4300 is like yes. Uh, 42 or SPX 4275. So uh, yeah, we're we're not in a good range for the pumpers. Tomorrow's still stacked with puts. Those could get squeezed out. And maybe we could see like a 4360 upside or something. I'll see how positioning looks tonight. But there's a lot of bearish momentum now, and we're starting to get deeper into SLD too, which means it'll be it'll start to like not tomorrow, but like Friday morning through Monday. It'll be really hard to push up against the market makers. Dollar, eh, it's still up for today, right? 106, um, up 36 basis points. Not back in its trend, but uh, looks looks like it's kind of recovering from its prior collapse below the trend. Pressure there should still be high. I mean, I don't I don't see anybody else's economy getting better. England's inflation was up last night. I think tonight we have balance of trade out of Japan. That could create some shocks to the end correlation moving back up today and then also back up above the prior high both on the three and one month um so correlation starting to turn around which means we're going to get more of that vol flow into spx and uh 
out of equities, which is bearish for equities. Uh, they managed to turn around uh, bond vol again before it close, but it's getting quite tight, right? Especially especially through today. Uh, tightened up a lot today, and it's, it's kind of holding there. This will need to reverse pretty hard to ease up some of that pressure, and it doesn't look like yields are backing down. Like, even, even on the pullback, the 30 years almost at 5%. You can see that a little bit better here, right? Um, let's go out to the like one hour. So yeah, I mean, yields yields are just continuing up. Um, the 20 year auction today came in a little under spot, which provided some brief bullishness, but then no one gave a sh once it bounced back over the two year, right? And kind of eliminated the effect. Bond ball still flat um but correlation up and market down so the expectation here should be that we see bond vol continue to climb a little bit uh vix correlation uh, not really moving on the weekly but if if we start to breach 20 tomorrow uh we may see a little bit more of that uh, demand is definitely high uh this week uh, you you can kind of tell from the volume profile but correlation hasn't dropped back completely to the prior levels despite the intense amount of vix shorting we've experienced over the last three days rsp today underperformed down 150 bps but a 50 bps recovery after market close and that's kind of in line with what we're seeing on the bounce on es here as it retests 4350 which puts us right at about 4325 which is still very bearish and under under the vega risk let's take a look at gme so gme's contraction uh, of the tip slowed a little bit today by the market drop but still a lot of share borrowing going on there not nothing nothing big enough yet to affect the borrow rate i, I think they're still largely like shorting in the morning and covering in the midday kind of thing but hopefully over the next two to three days we start to see those contracts a bit more upstart yeah no covering really going on fubo still got covering going on and the positive news from netflix and after hours uh with their ad supported subscriber growth may provide some tailwinds there for fubo because they're trying to roll out their own um ad supported tiers and if that's a successful strategy for streaming companies then you know fubo the the prospect of fubo doing that may may improve valuations a little bit or at least valuation projections i think that's about it we can take a look at this actually this is kind of like our just our weekly weekly trend on spx and something to note here is the failure to break that 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 4404 level on the weekly that's pretty bearish right uh i mean our, our we're already trending down uh towards the long-term trend over the last several months or well three months if we break 4272 to the downside we're probably going to break through the long-term trend and on 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 the monthly you know that continuation is really quite bearish it's pretty rare that you get three consecutive down months on the spx without just getting a market crash. I don't, I, I, I mean, or at least a really steep correction. I can't think of any, any times where we've had that many consecutive red months on SPX uh, without, without it just, you know, progressively getting worse, right? So the rest of this month is pretty key. And if, if we lose, if we lose the 42, like 20 level, uh, that's, that's really, really bearish uh, for the long term. So something to keep an eye on, especially given that, you know, so far this month, we're only, we've only bounced a total of 62 basis points. Anyway, um, more on that tomorrow. Uh, I'll have Pickles Picks out tonight uh, with some updated options info, and we'll see how things have repositioned after the big drop. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good night, guys. Later.